And today's Once for Wellness is a little bit different. We are taking on a very serious topic, a sharp rise in the number of women killed by their partners since the pandemic began. And a local advocacy group told us they fear this is only going to get worse. She's passionate, spunky, brilliant. Sally's daughter, Atia, was the light of her life. She has always been mommy's mini twin and daddy's little girl. I refuse to say she was because she's alive in me. I think about her all the time. In March, Atia was shot and killed outside her workplace. Police say her ex boyfriend, Michael Walker, pulled the trigger. She was the first of now 16 women this year in Tarrant County killed as a result of intimate partner violence, double the number the county saw last year. Sally says she had no idea her daughter was in danger. I really think she was maybe protecting us, her family. One in three Texans will become the victim of domestic violence at some point in their lifetime. And here at Safe Haven of Tarrant County, they say that's proof of an ongoing pandemic of a different kind. It's tough because there are unintended consequences of really good intentioned things. Catherine Jacob, the CEO of Safe Haven, says the isolation can keep abuse in the shadows. Calling for a stay at home order, I, I see how that helps the public health. Um, but it certainly negatively impacts survivors in our community. Calls to Safe Haven's hotline up 30% since the pandemic started. But Jacob is concerned getting out is getting harder. The nonprofit helps get women to safety, but they've seen an increasing number of no shows at pickup points. We are here. There are so many people who care about you in this community, and it doesn't have to be this way. So if you can get to us, we can assure your safety in the time that you're in our care. Tell as many people as you know about your situation and let them help you. It's help Sally wishes her daughter could have had. For others in similar situations, she says, be brave. You exposing your abuser could potentially save your life and the life of the next person they may encounter. Some of the ways you can help check in on your friends and especially acquaintances that you're not speaking to as often as you used to. As for solutions, Jacob says that she hopes lawmakers will consider allocating some sort of funding that would allow them to hire more staff for their high risk team. There's only four people there right now, so their caseload is limited. And remember, if you need help, it is available 24 7. That number on your screen, 1 701 SAFE, 1 701 we also have links on our website, cbsdfw.com.